A Braille typewriter types raised dots using the Braille system. It's based on six dots arranged in a rectangle, three dots high by two dots across. This is called the Braille cell. Different configurations of dots within this cell represent different letters of the alphabet, numbers, and punctuation marks. A Braille typewriter has a space bar in the middle and six keys, one for each dot of the Braille cell. Pressing a key makes a pointed steel rod, called a stylus, type a raised dot. To build a Braille writer, they first position the six styli, one by one, in a carriage, with steel spacers in between. The spacers ensure the styli move freely. A cover plate seals the back of the carriage, and what's called a stripper plate closes the top. The plate has six holes in the configuration of the Braille cell. When you press a key, the corresponding stylus protrudes and strikes the paper against a dot-shaped die, creating a raised dot. They screw the die to the carriage top, but don't install it in the machine just yet. This is how the carriage and die will meet once it is in place. They start connecting the components which move the various styli. The first part is a steel cam rod. One end of it has a little eyelet called a lug. They put a pin in it, then slip that pin through holes in the prongs of a metal strip called a link. Later, they'll connect the other end of the link to a lever attached to a key. The Braille writer's other components are made of cast aluminum. The left end plate covers the left side of the machine. To that, they connect the carriage tube, the cylinder on which the carriage rides, and the feed roller, the mechanism you turn to feed a sheet of paper into the typewriter. Then, what they call the rear support, that assembly of cam rods and links. They slide the carriage onto the carriage tube. Next, they install the drum. The feed tube transfers the paper to the drum. The drum winds it into the machine, positioning it for typing. Then, the rack bar. Each tooth in it is the width of a braille cell, ensuring the carriage advances the correct distance between letters. Next, they install the chain assembly, which advances the carriage. They close off the other side of the machine with the right end plate. Now they can finish the process of connecting the parts that move the styli. So far, each cam rod connects to a link. Now they connect each link to a cam lever, then each lever to a key. Here's how it all works. You press a key. It triggers the cam lever to turn the cam rod and push up the stylus. The stylus strikes the paper against the die, yet to be installed, producing a raised dot. There's still one more paper feed component to install, the pressure roller. It holds the sheet of paper against the feed tube. Now they screw the die to the carriage top and install that on a support beam. Then they position this assembly over the stripper plate at the top of the carriage. They check and adjust the paper hold tension. The back plate has slots for the two levers that adjust the margins. The apron goes below the keys, the front plate above them. Then the last component, the carriage lever. When you type to the end of the line, you push this lever to the left to return to the left margin. You also push a key on the far left to advance the paper to the next line. Typing on a braille writer is an embossing process, so you have to use thick paper. You push single keys and combinations of keys to produce different configurations of dots, each signifying different letters of the alphabet.